Hey everybody, Kerbal Space Program patch time. That's right, 1.01. .01. And today there are just some changes. And I'm gonna the patch notes are available on Squad's website. I can put a link for it in the description for you. But there are a few things in particular that I want to talk about. There are some pretty interesting tweaks or changes, such as a temperature gauge system. I had a few people in my comments say, "Well, I'd love to be able to check the temperature for things and how they're doing." Now that is a lot more accessible, which is great. Another thing is that a splashdown vehicle will release heat a lot faster as it should, which I noticed that was kind of an issue for some things playing off camera. Another thing that's very important is parachute heating and burning. One of the most common solutions, especially it's coming in the comments from my second video on reentry heat, where I derped pretty hard sometimes, and there were some bugs for mass and flipping and some design failures, was that, hey, why don't you just burn your parachutes to get yourself pointed and oriented in the right direction? And I want to see if that's something that you can still actually do. Yes, you can have multiple sets of parachutes, but my wonder was always, wow, if you're going into the atmosphere, your parachutes should disintegrate if you deploy them early. Kind of like how they used to. So it looks like they may have tweaked or adjusted that, so that's nice. Otherwise, there's just some tweaks and changes, rebalancing engine entry costs, things like increasing the mass of some wings, like I said, just look at the patch notes. There's some tweaks that will affect some players more than others. But what I really want to see is, what do parachutes do now? All right, we're flying a rocket called Test Me. And some of you are going to love me because I didn't actually adjust the thrust generated by the solid boosters. But let's just see if we can get into position for to test this parachute and see if it'll actually work. So fly. Now remember, when I say parachute working, I want to see, is it going to burn on re-entry heat? So all we're going to do here is test and see, is this at 1,400 or so meters? And I did just click save here. Let's go ahead and stage. Parachute is ready to deploy. And we do have a heat shield on in front of us. Is that going to save the parachute? Because right now our goal is to make sure that we don't flip around. And with this heat shield here, we shouldn't really flip around. So our orbital speed is going up. There we go. So here is the heat shield doing its thing. What I want to know is what the parachute's going to do. First off, we want the parachute to be deployed already. Oh, shoot destroyed by air forces and heat. Oh, wow. So we're still slowing down, but that was a, that was a little different. That's not quite what I expected here. Let's reload. So we'll see if we can get this to successfully do what it's supposed to do. And then we'll experiment with that real quick. So look, here's the ablation shield going how it's supposed to. Shouldn't be flipping over. We just got a little bit of heat, even though we're a physical time acceleration. And parachute deployed. Look at that reentry heat not destroying us. We have Minmus and the moon kind of in the same shot. So pretty good stuff. All right, so Jebediah, are you ready to test this vessel? All we're gonna do is go up into space, and then this is actually the one that failed in my second video, the exact design. All I've changed here is that I'm gonna have some parachutes stage early to see if they'll actually be able to adjust the dipping nose cone, which is going to dip because the heat shield's all the way down here, but the center of mass is way up here from the crew module because this Science Junior does not weigh anything. So this is not a good design. This is not a viable design, but the idea is not to test the design. It's to test and see if things are going to die here. Like test me debris from there before. So let's fly. And we'll just fast forward to when we get to the important part. All right, so here we are, not quite in orbit, running out of fuel. So apparently Jebediah can't get in this orbit like Valentina was able to, but we're just going to go ahead and go for the test. Like I said, the flaw in this design from before and why I think it's a valuable test vehicle is that this is going to flip. And what you were previously able to do pre-patch was to save landers like this because you could just deploy your parachutes and things would point correctly. But what this is going to do, despite the best intentions of this heat shield, first off, these lander legs are going to burn off too, so might as well deploy them now. But all we're going to do is just try and put forward some parachutes and see kind of what happens. So let's go ahead and get further down into the atmosphere and... Uh, you know what, actually, since we had this problem before, let's just go ahead and point the nose like about this. So definitely an incorrect way. Because we want to test and see, can the, will the parachutes actually correct or will they just immediately burn to a crisp? So 
We're not even using our heat shield right now. Jebediah, I'm glad you are such a willing test participant. I'm glad you signed your waivers and all that. So adjusting. So 40,000. We're going to get some fire here in just a moment. Only going about uh, 2,100 meters per second. So we were just a little bit off of making it into orbit. But definitely a reasonable speed to test will parachutes let you actually adjust this. Because like I said before, you could be pointing forward and the parachutes would just drag you back and pull you correctly. My thought, at least from our prior test, is that that is not going to work this time. But we shall see. Or Jebediah will just be hitting the drink here in just a second. So look, we're on fire. We're on fire. Things are catching fire. Let's fire the parachutes. Go. All the parachutes. I didn't mean to stage them all at once. Okay, we're we just going to burn to a crisp early. Parachutes, save me. Oh, there we go. Shoot destroyed air forces and heat. Shoot destroyed air forces and heat. And we're going forward. And we have our new temperature gauges, which is awesome. Just to see how close all these little parts are to actually exploding. So this is supposed to have a pretty good heat tolerance. And before, this would actually explode. But for some reason, unfortunately, Jeb did not burn up on re-entry. Even though these are actually, oh look, they're actually toasty red because they're on fire. That's wonderful. The heat shield didn't have to do a thing. And the crew capsule, we're not having to worry about it too much. The sign to Junior is a little bit heated up. So interesting things from the patch. Unfortunately, Jebediah is parachuteless. And we did learn that parachutes will no longer readjust your heat. But on the other hand, or no longer readjust your inclination. On the other hand, Valentina wouldn't have exploded in this new patch world because these didn't patch, or these didn't explode. Whereas these were some of the first things to go before, so maybe the re-entry heat not nearly as deadly now as it had been before, but on the other hand, parachutes are not going to be the way to just save you right out. Of course, the other side of the coin was that Valentina entered the atmosphere 200, degree, or 200 meters per second faster. But still, lesson learned. We have new gauges for what parts are going to overheat, and Jebediah, God rest your soul. You have no parachutes, and you're about to splash down way too fast. So this is Asher with Kerbal Space Program Patch 1.1. Stay tuned for more Kerbal Spacing action in career mode and otherwise. Thanks for watching. See you next time.